Hi, I'm Fred, welcome back to the shed. Today I want to um, just show you a little, uh, quite a little nif nifty little fix that I did on my Acer Aspire 1 netbook. Um, I've had this book a couple of years now and it was running fine. And then one day, just like now, I uh, booted up the laptop and uh, I'm running Windows XP and the uh, computer booted fine into Windows XP and then for no reason after it had been running for probably less than a minute suddenly rather abruptly the computer just uh, just shut down and tried rebooting it and again it ran for 30-40 seconds and then once again it shut down and it didn't seem to be what I did whatever I did it and uh, I thought it was um, completely screwed and uh, I did, I did actually uh, go on the internet and I found a little fix which I'm going to share with you today and hopefully it saved my little netbook and uh, hopefully it will do the same to you so as I said you know I was working just like this just the computer booted up and in one minute it was working and the next minute it went black and that was it good night um, first thing you need to do for this to actually work is you need to establish whether you're actually suffering from a hardware fault um, or a software fault and to do that is that we need to go into the uh, BIOS page which is something you probably wouldn't normally del delve about with but it's very easy to get into all you have to do is when the actual when the machine boots when the Acer logo comes up just press the F2 key which is the one just there there we go and then you're straight away in, into the uh, BIOS screen now what happens next actually determines what the fault is actually on your netbook if we sit here and uh, the BIOS screen remains loaded and the computer carries on working save two or three minutes, four minutes then it's most likely you've got a uh, software fault however if your computer was like mine and we went into the BIOS screen and then one minute the screen was on and then the next minute the screen goes black again then you can pretty well be sure that you've actually got a hardware fault now thankfully 90% um, of the hardware faults on the Acer one is actually caused by the inoperative working of the cooling fan. Um, what, this what this does, this causes the computer within a minute to become rather hot and then the overheat protection kicks in and uh, your computer basically shuts down. Sim simple as that. It's a well known fault and uh, if you, know, you google it and you'll find that quite a few people have had this problem but there is a, say, a little trick that I found that worked twice for mine and brought my computer back to life and hopefully it will work for you um, I call it the uh, tap and blow technique which uh, sounds a little bit rude actually but I can assure you it's perfectly clean otherwise uh, YouTube will be uh, probably censoring this video right it's quite easy what you need to do turn your uh, Acer Aspire 1 over and a bit we're interested in, if you can just make out here, you've got this very raised circular section on the uh, back of your laptop there. And that's actually where the fan is situated. So the first thing we need to do is you need to get a sort of something which is like a, a hard object. I'm going to use just an old AA cell battery here. And just lightly tap around all around that area, that raised circular section which hopefully will just remove any dust and they will hopefully then dislodge the fan um, the second part of the operation and it does help if you have one of these which is a uh, spray duster it's quite simply where you've got the uh, little holes here along the front cooling, cooling vents is just get your spray duster give it a quick blast that way and then more importantly you've got this uh, little vent hole here on the side which actually leads directly to the fan and just give that again a little bit of a blast um, what if you have got one of these what you do not want to do do not put the can directly onto the vent because you normally get quite a blast of um, compressed air that comes out of these a fair bit of force and if you're not careful you'll actually overstress the fan you'll um, spin it beyond its recommended RPM and you could possibly damage the fan um, if you haven't got one of these, which um, most people won't have, then just quite simply put your mouth to the actual vents and uh, just give it a quick little blow. Um, do the same along the front and uh, if you manage to actually get a tune out of your Acer one then uh, send it to me and I'll pop it on the end of the video. 
But uh, just doing that, just doing a tap on the uh, tap on the blow there on the back, and then hopefully to switch your machine on. And uh, with any luck, you'll find that your AC will boot up, and uh, it will stay on. So once it's actually booted up, you know, if, if you get past the minute mark, up to two or three minutes, then uh, it should be fine. If you find that after maybe sort of three or four minutes, it then perhaps blue screens and shuts down again, then it may be possible you're talking of a hard drive failure, which is uh, obviously something entirely different. Right, okay, assuming that that doesn't work, and that once again you start the computer up like this, and your screen goes black again, um, there's one more thing that you can try, and that is called a capacitor clear down. And uh, it's very simple, very simple to do. Um, if you're using the power supply, remove the power supply, turn your racer over like this, and then just using the little clip here, pop out your battery, open up your racer again, and then what you need to do now is just literally hold your finger down on the power button and you need to hold it for probably certainly more than 20 seconds, 20-30 seconds. Um, I generally tend to hold mine for about 40 seconds or so when you've actually finished. If you're using your external power supply, pop your power supply in and then reboot the computer. Um, if like me you haven't got that with you then just basically slot your battery back in. And then reboot and uh, hopefully that has cleared your problem. Um, obviously if your problem persists then you may be needing, maybe looking at possibly a software problem and it may be then time to look at maybe reinstalling your software or maybe uh, reflashing the BIOS which is something a little bit more technically involved and I won't go into it within this video what I'd suggest you do is then you go onto Google and uh, type in Acer Aspire flashing BIOS and, uh, and then go from there. But like I say, the little um, tap and blow technique for me, that's uh, brought my computer back from dead uh, about three times now. So that's something. So I hope it works for you and I uh, hope that your computer continues working and uh, everything's okay. So thanks for watching and you've been, I'm Fred and you've been in the shed.